conventional sources of energy. Energy resources Energy is required for all activities whether performed by living beings or non-living things. Chemical energy is stored in the food we eat and it gives us energy to do work. Car run on the chemical energy stored in petrol. Energy creates the things. Energy moves the things. This universe is simply a playground of energy. The most sought after forms of energy are electricity and heat energy. Fuel minerals like coal, petroleum and natural gas are burnt to produce heat energy which is used to run machines or generate electric energy. Electric energy can also be generated from uranium and running water. Energy resources can be classified as conventional and non-conventional sources. Conventional sources include coal, petroleum, natural gas, firewood, cattle dung cake and electricity. Non-conventional sources include solar, wind, tidal, geothermal, biogas and atomic or nuclear energy. Conventional sources of energy Coal It is primarily burnt for the production of electricity or heat and is also used for industrial purposes. Coal is the largest source of energy for the generation of electricity across the world. Decaying plants in swamps produce peat which in turn is converted into lignite, then anthracite. Peat has a low carbon and high moisture contents and low heating capacity. Lignite is a low grade brown coal which is soft with high moisture content. It is used almost exclusively as fuel for electric power generation. The principal lignite reserves are in Neveli in Tamil Nadu. Coal that has been buried deep and subjected to increased temperatures is bituminous coal. As compared to lignite, bituminous coal have higher carbon content and lower oxygen content. It is the most popular coal in commercial use. It is used primarily as fuel in thermal power plants and also used for heat and power applications in manufacturing sectors. Metallurgical coal is high-grade bituminous coal which has a special value for smelting iron in blast furnaces. Anthracite is the highest quality hard coal. It has carbon contents over 91%. The structure of anthracite is almost similar to that of graphite. Coal deposits in India are of two distinct geological ages namely Gondwana a little over 200 million years in age and other deposits of tertiary age are about 55 million years old. The major resources of Gondwana coal, which are metallurgical coal, are located in Damodar Valley. Other important coal fields are Jharia, Rani Ganj and Bokaro. The Godavari, Mahanadi, Son and Vardha valleys also contain coal deposits. Tertiary coal occur in the northeastern states of Meghalaya, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Rajasthan. Remember, coal is a bulky material which loses weight on use as it is reduced to ash. Hence, heavy industries and thermal power stations are located on or near the coal fields. Petroleum Petroleum or crude oil is a naturally occurring flammable liquid. Petroleum is formed under earth's surface by the decomposition of marine organisms. It is recovered mostly through oil drilling. It is mainly used to produce heat, light and lubricants for machinery and raw materials for a number of manufacturing industries. Several industries such as synthetic textile, fertilizer and chemical industries get their raw materials from petroleum refineries. 
Crude petroleum is obtained from the sedimentary rocks of marine origin which date back to 3 million years ago. In India, it occurs in the anticlines and fault traps of rock formation belonging to the tertiary period. Anticline trap An anticline trap is a space where layers of rock have been pushed up into an arc that looks much like a domed arc in a building. Oil and gas being lighter migrate into the folded porous and permeable layer and rise to the top. They cannot escape because of an overlying bed of impermeable rock. Fault trap A fault trap is a break in the layers of rock. A fault trap occurs when formation on either side of a fault move and come to rest in a configuration that traps oil that migrates into it. Often an impermeable formation on one side of the fault moves opposite a porous and permeable formation on the other side. The petroleum migrates into the porous and permeable formation and gets trapped by the impervious layer at the fault line. Gas being lighter usually occurs above the oil. About 63% of India's petroleum production is from Mumbai high. 18% from Gujarat and 16% from Assam. Ankleshwar is the most important field of Gujarat. Assam is the oldest oil producing state of India. Digboi, Nahar Katia and Moran Hung region are the important oil fields in the state. Natural gas. Natural gas is an important clean energy resource found in association with or without petroleum. It is used as a source of energy as well as an industrial raw material in the petrochemical industry. Natural gas is considered an environment friendly fuel because of low carbon dioxide emissions. Natural gas emits 22% less carbon dioxide than oil and 40% less than coal and is therefore the fuel for the present century. Large reserves of natural gas has been discovered in the Krishna Godavari basin. About 70% of India's reserves are found in the Mumbai High Basin and Gujarat. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are also important areas having large reserves of natural gas. In 1986, Gale was assigned to lay about 1,800 km long, 18 to 36 diameter Hazira Bijapur Jagdishpur gas pipeline linking Mumbai High and Basin with the fertilizer, power, and industrial complexes in western and northern India. This project has considerably improved the India's gas production. The power and fertilizer industries are the main users of natural gas. Compressed natural gas (CNG) is now being used in vehicles in place of liquid fuels. It is gaining wide popularity in the country as it is fuel efficient and cost effective. Electricity. Generators are used to produce electricity. If the turbine of a generator is driven by running water the electricity produced is called hydroelectricity if mineral fuels such as coal petroleum and natural gas are burnt to derive turbines the electricity produced is called thermal power or thermal electricity hydroelectricity hydroelectricity is generated by fast flowing water which is a renewable resource India has a number of multi-purpose projects like the Bakra Nangal, Damodar Valley Corporation, the Kopili Hydel project etc producing hydroelectricity. Thermal electricity. Thermal electricity is generated by using coal, petroleum and natural gas. The thermal power stations use non-renewable fossil fuels for generating electricity. There are over 310 thermal power plants in India. Nuclear or atomic energy. It is the energy released by some heavy atoms such as uranium and plutonium when they undergo disintegration. Energy released in the form of heat is used for producing steam, 
which is used to move the turbine of electric power generators. Uranium and thorium found in Jharkhand and the Aravalli ranges of Rajasthan are used for generating atomic or nuclear power. The monazite sand of Kerala is also rich in thorium.